Hi Gemini, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of July, not July, August 5th to August 11th, 2024. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Gemini, and then I'll see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box below that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, let's see your energy. Oh, Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of Gemini in regards to love for this week, please. Come on, shuffle. All right, here we go. There we go. What's the energy of Gemini, Gemini, in regards to love for this week, Gemini? All right, Gemini, first card we have for you is the Fool in your energy. We also have the Moon in your energy. We also have the Tower. The Tower, the Moon, and the Fool. So there's a little bit of an attachment here, Gemini, with the Moon and the Tower. There's a little bit of an emotional attachment that you still have um, to, uh, to something that fell apart in your life, something that ended, something that no longer exists for you. I mean, we do have the, uh, the fool, so it does look like you're, you're letting this go or like you're doing everything in your power to emotionally detach and emotionally let go of this of this situation, this person, this relationship that ended up in disaster for you with the tower card. This person that you separated from, this relationship that you ended Okay, this moon feels heavy though. I'm getting like a, a lot of heaviness from this moon energy. So it kind of looks like this relationship was a very heavy relationship. It was also very toxic. It was also very like um, draining, stressful, it, unstable. It, it created a lot of instability in your life, emotional instability as well for you. It was very chaotic or hectic or dramatic. Lots of ups and downs. But there's something about you embracing a new energy in your life with the full card. Embracing a brand new, more positive energy. All right, bottom of the deck for Gemini's energy. We have the Two of Swords. We also have the Hierophant. Ooh, this was a lesson for you. You learned a valuable lesson through this experience, is what I'm noticing here. Yeah, we have the Eight of Cups. This is something you walked away from. You made the decision to walk away from something from your past, a relationship from your past that was toxic, that was unhealthy, and you learned a valuable lesson. And... Um, and now it just kind of looks like you're embracing your freedom, you're embracing your independence. And you're, you're setting yourself up on a new path. You're setting yourself up on a new path in life. I do feel like this energy is lingering in the background, though, because I keep feeling this moon energy. You know, maybe it's a little bit fresh for for some of you, like this this whole breakup or separation. For some of you, it's a little bit fresh and and recent. So there's residual energy, is what I'm getting. Like residual heavy heavy energy 
emotional energy in the atmosphere around you. But I feel like you're trying your best to not focus on it, to ignore it, and to just kind of um, look ahead and not look back at your past. Uh, what can you tell me about this fool energy spirit, please? Connect it to Gemini. Yeah, it's like you're not you're not letting your emotions like dictate your life anymore. You're not letting your emotions dictate your life or your emotions related to the past. Your feelings related to the past. You're not letting it dictate your life. You're not letting it take control over you. Um, what's the fool here for Gemini? Yeah, Ten of Wands. Like I said, this relationship was a heavy burden for you. This experience was a heavy burden. Well, I mean, Gemini, I would say, I would say, like, don't, uh, don't move on too quickly, is what I want to say for some reason. Don't, don't move on too quickly. Take your time moving on. Um, you're not going to feel better, you know, in an instant. You're not going to detoxify yourself in an instant. You're not going to cleanse your energy and, and have a new beginning and feel happy again in life in an instant. Like it just doesn't work that way. It's, it, it's not like a, you know, from one day to the next day type of quick fix, you know? Like you're not going to transform yourself or transform your life from one from one day to the next day. It's it's a journey. It's a process. Um, so keep that in mind. Don't be too quick to move on, or don't be too quick to um, shut off your emotions or or turn your back away from your emotions because that's not going to make the situation better. It kind of looks like this was a very um, emotionally draining experience. Like you were very emotionally invested. Um, so it's going to take time for you to kind of uh, transition, you know, out of that negative energy. And, and transmute those negative feelings and, and emotions associated with this, with this negative experience that you went through. Like, it's just going to take time. So don't, don't be in a hurry to, to have a new beginning in your life or to move on with your life. It's going to take time and that's okay. You know, it's, it's better to, it's better to, it, to go slowly. Yeah, don't ignore your feelings, you know, feel, feel how you feel. And don't, don't feel bad about it, don't feel guilty about it. You're a human, so um, recognize that you're a human being, you're not perfect, and, and be kind to yourself, be loving to yourself. And allow yourself to feel whatever you feel, like there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. You're not doing anything wrong. So maybe take time, some take some time off to be on your own is what I'm getting. That does seem to be necessary here. Take some time off to be on your own and to focus on yourself and to focus on your healing 
because um, you do you do look it does look like you need some healing here you do you do need to go through a little bit of a healing journey so allow yourself to go through that because it's it's gonna pay off instead of just trying to quickly in an instant move on from everything you know okay all right, uh, let's move on to the other side of the reading. Let's see your person's energy for the week. Let's see. Here we go. Spirit, angels, and guides, please show me the energy of the person Gemini is connecting to and dealing with and love for this week. Please, what is this person's energy, sorry, energy towards Gemini for this week, please? What is this person's energy towards Gemini for this week? First card we have for them is the King of Cups. Male or female could be a water sign. We also have the Lovers here. Wow. And we have the Two of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords with the Sun. We also have the High Priestess. Who is this? We also have the Two of Cups. All right. Who's this? King of Cups and the Two of Cups and the Lovers? Jeez. My Lord, this person is in love with you. Look at that. King of Cups and the Two of Cups and the Lovers, which is your energy, Gemini. Yeah, this person looks at you like you're their other half. You're their twin flame. Um, you're, the, you're the man of their dreams or you're the woman of their dreams. Um, you're, you're total perfection in their eyes. They feel a deep spiritual connection with you, a deep spiritual bond with you. They're, they're in love with you. They're head over heels in love with you. They're amazed by you. I don't, I don't know what that means. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cause we have the sun here. I, I knew I felt like something about amazed. That would make sense with the sun. They're amazed by you. Yeah, they're amazed by you. Like, they're so impressed by you. They're so impressed by, like, your self-confidence, your strength. The way you shine. There's something about you that shines, that that is very um, bright and... you radiate i mean maybe it's because this person's in love with you as well they just look at you like you're like i said like you're total perfection like you're the sun like like you're the most beautiful thing they've ever seen in their life you know that type of energy the most beautiful person they've ever seen in their life the most amazing the most impressive they love, they love everything about you. Why do they have the Seven of Swords here? Oh, I see. Yeah, I see. You know what it is? It's this High Priestess energy. This person is view viewing you as someone who's being very introverted, someone who's being very quiet, withdrawn in your energy, um, kind of reserved. You're not giving them much. And they're wondering here with the Seven of Swords, what are you hiding, Gemini? That's what they're thinking here. What is Gemini hiding? What is Gemini like? What secret is Gemini keeping from me? Or what What secrets are is Gemini holding, holding back? What is Gemini thinking? What is Gemini feeling? They're trying to figure, figure you out. This is how they're viewing you. They're viewing you as a high priestess. So they just feel like you're very quiet, like you're very reserved. You're very isolated or Okay. Hmm. For some of you, this person is wondering if you're juggling juggling them with somebody else with the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, they're questioning, does Gemini have somebody else? Is Gemini available? 
Is Gemini in some other relationship? What's going on with Gemini? That's that's what they want to know. What's going on with Gemini? I don't know. I don't. Nothing's going on with you. You're just um, going through a change here in your life. You're going through a big, massive change. But I guess you're not communicating that to this person because this person feels like they don't know much about you. Or like they don't know what's going on with, with your life. Tell me about the uh, Seven of Swords spirit. They're looking for the truth with the Sun card. They want to know the truth about you. Tell me about the Seven of Swords to the High Priestess here. Uh, King of Pentacles, uh, the, you're very focused on your work, C work, career, finances. You're busy also. They feel like you're very busy. Judgment, Six of Wands. Yeah, they might feel like you have some sort of fame or recognition. Maybe you're in the spotlight. Um, you might have your own business. You might be someone who has a lot of followers. Or you get a lot of ten, uh, a lot of attention from people, so this person is just wondering like, are you interested in them? Do you want them? Are you involved with somebody else? Or why are you so quiet? What what are you hiding? Okay, that's what's happening with this person here. All right, Gemini, I'm going to stop the reading right here, and I'm going to continue now in the extended reading. In the extended reading, I will be taking a deeper look at your person. I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you, what are their true and real intentions with you for this week, what actions will they take towards you moving forward, and what will the overall outcome be for this relationship. If you're interested, you can follow me there with the link below the video in the description box below. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.